Hello friends, today uh, we're, going, we're going to solve another problem um, This is, this is a sample that was given in the book on chapter 4, section 4.5 And basically, um, I'll show you how this problem, this problem works So let's, um, let's run it, give me one second, okay Run it. So basically, you have to enter either head, heads or, or tails. So let's see. We uh, we enter heads, and then uh, we have this output. So what 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 this problem what this problem does is like um, once you enter your um, your string, um, it's gonna change um, this variable either to true or false based on what you have chosen for example if you have chosen heads it's going to be true if you have chosen tails uh, it's going to remind us false and then what it does this uh, what it does is this program uh, generates a random number and and basically uh, what it does after that is um, makes a like a it compares um, what was selected, which is in this case heads, and the random number. If the run, if for example, if the random number is uh, below uh, 0 0.5, was higher than 0 0.5, this is going to be true. And the e and if heads was select, if heads was selected, is true. So this statement, this whole if statement, is going to be true. And then you win, but in case that um, in case that you have selected tails, and then and if if this random number is um, well, this one should be uh, less than. Let me check this. And an example, I think uh, should be different, but give me one second here. Section. 4.5 4 .5. 4 .5. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. no, okay okay I know it's the mistake this one has to be less. This right here, this is less. Okay, if this is if this is true and this is true, we're going to uh, output this. But in, the, in 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 my case, in this example, uh, we got um, we lost because we selected heads, but and the random number uh, selected something that it was. Um, um, below 0.5 let me see ba, 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 ba. Mm -hmm. something below 0.5 so we went here probably we selected heads we selected false in this case for example let's say uh, we inserted um, heads and this is this is false and because we have this negation sign this is going to be true and then if this was f if this was um if this comparison was higher it's going to be true and then we didn't get so what happens is that if 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 what you enter matches with this uh random number you're going to uh the program is going to retrieve uh, you win otherwise you lose so let's run it again let's enter again hits and let's see if we have a different result again we lost let's try again nothing three times let's do for fourth time sorry you lose now let's enter tails Sorry, you lose. So it's always mm, 
is always uh, retrieving the, the same um, result so that this means uh, here must uh, we must have a problem so probably we have any problem in here when you need to introduce some parentheses We selected heads. Since we selected heads, um, equal to heads, it's gonna be true. And then our number was um, higher than this uh, 0.5. So since this was higher, okay, we lose. Yeah, which makes sense. Let's do it again. Now you win. Oh, oops. Everything seems to be working correct. As you see, we selected heads, which this is true, which this part over here is going to be true. And since we're less than uh, 0.5, this is true, so we win. Otherwise, uh, we lose. Okay. So part A, what is, what's it? Oh. So we have to parse part A and part B. And A says use two Boolean variables instead of one. The second will start the outcome of the coin flip. Okay. So on this part, probably uh, what we need to do is an if statement and change the um, variable. Okay. Um, let's put. Um, I'm going to uh, delete this part. And I'm going to declare a boolean variable called outcome. Random outcome, okay? It's not descriptive. Random outcome equal to um let's say false. And then we can write an if here. And then we copy this. to do here so if run run as well if random is less than um, less than 0.5 uh, we're going to put random equal to false and then if random is higher you want to put random equal to true like I said to do here is uh, compare this two so instead of this it's going to be uh, random outcome and here we also have random outcome and then yes everything is the same let's 
test is okay. So let's test it with tails. Sorry, you lose. Okay. So this part A is done now. It's asking us if the user fails to enter heads of or tails, have a program prone the user to re-enter the input. The program will repeat the prompt as often as necessary until the user enters its heads. Okay. Also, this prompt, um, what this part says is like if the user misses a spell or uh, forgets like something or doesn't enter anything, um, we have to make the user to re-enter. Okay. So we have to modify this program around here. I'm thinking. Let me think. We have to enter a while loop. Mm. Okay, I think it's around here. How can we do this? I can put an if statement and then um, mm -hmm. so let's say that user doesn't enter anything. So probably we need an else here. As a user to rent, so mm -hmm. how can we modify this? We enter a while of, um. I think we have to write an if stem. Let's try it. A user input uh, equals in our So if this is false, we want to have make we have to make it true. If this is false or this is false, so we go here. And we make the user to render. 
otherwise if this is true we just go and change this to common. Keeps doing this, and, <laughs> and let's indent this a little bit so it looks readable. And let's test it. Let's set it for heads first. Re enter tails. Huh, interesting. here somewhere so what if we enter tells We enter and then we enter tells. So what's going on here? So we're going through this. We enter in tells. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna put an ignore here, so it should make sense. For example, if this is false, and this is gonna be true, so we hold here. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm going either okay. So this is the I mean it's introducing an error. So we always go through here. Because we have either or mm hmm Yeah, what is this the problem? I'll have to enter either heads or tails. I guess we have to use a while loop. That will be the other option. Then we have to put here as a user to re enter to re enter um, heads, uh, heads or tails. C 
should input equal to input the uh, next slide. Get here. Well, we have we have to break. Introduce a break. Now it should work. I think. I think. And then let's enter head only head. Re-enter. So let's now enter tails. It's not working. It's running. Running with tails, so we have to modify something right here. So when it's equal to tails, it goes doesn't go here, so it's going infinitely here. So what we need to do here is. Keeps running. Oh, I have to break. I have to break that loop. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the solution for the problem. Here it is and thank you for listening to me and see you next time.